All right, so these are the results from the game jam that was on last weekend. There were only four submissions, but that's fine. That's better than I thought they'd be. And I'm just going to do them in this order, basically. First one is we're separated. Use WSD or arrow keys to move. Make sure both the robot and human touch. Nugget Productions and AU Theory presents. Okay. Ah, oh, so one's inverted. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get them back both here. Yeah, there we go. The spikes will kill you. Okay, let's focus on the left side. What's up with that red box? Only, oh, only the human can go through red walls. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, the robot's really big now. Okay, then. Let's hope the robot doesn't mess up here. Oh, this isn't good, actually. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. There we go. It's quite hard probably because I'm so bad at just general platformer games. And the movement is very, very fast. Have to be precise. Uh, that's all I'm going to play. Just <laughs> just because I'm not very good at this game. So we're separated. It's a very nice idea. But I feel like the movement um, and the general mechanics just need to be more refined as well for it to just play fluently and better. So thanks to the Nugget Boy for submitting that. Now onto just separated by more 3NK, more rank. Oh, sorry, I didn't have too much time. Four hours. Okay. So this is separated by more rank. You was living in a game, you were happy. But one day, game is glitched and your body is separated, and now the only thing you feel is pain. But the god said, if you give him that really cool trophy, he'll turn you back to normal. Ah, but the game is glitched, and only you can go there. And remember to collect all the money and kill all the enemies, or the door will not work. Okay. There is no separating here, only basic mechanics. Okay, cool. Okay, jump is space. Okay. How do I get through the door? Do I click on it? Up doesn't work. Spacebar just makes me jump. Collect all the coins and kill all the enemies. There's nothing else here. So I've tried all of the buttons on my keyboard and none of them seem to work. I've looked around, I've seen that there's no enemies and no coins. And I'm not sure what I'm meant to do. So that's it for uh, this game. So the only comment here says that uh, he actually got to the end and got captured by the god. Yeah, I've got no idea what I did wrong there. But hey, it was made in four hours. And that's quite a good job for four hours. Congratulations. Next on to Cells. This is a scratch game it looks like. Alrighty, I haven't played a scratch game in absolutely ages actually let's look at the instructions press the green flag to begin use w and the mouse to look around or to move around play in full screen with the sound turned on for the best experience if you like this game play my other games if you hate this game tell me why in the comment section part of the game jam you made the sound effects the art credit to google for the flush sound effects and image of sugar okay this looks very interesting Oh, okay. 
So once you go five times, you can split. Use the W key and the mouse to move around. Okay. Okay. So you need six sugar and six oxygen to grow. Okay. So I got six oxygen. Okay. Once you go five times, you can split. And then. Oh, okay. So the yes is sugar. Okay. So I can grow now. Uh, okay. Just need one more sugar. Grow again. Oh, yeah. Give me that sugar. Just a tiny bit more than I can split. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got two now. I'm like a snake. It's crazy. These sounds are quite nice, I must say. Does a very good job on the sounds. So the larger you get, the easier it is to get the sugar and the oxygen. And also splitting gives you more circles to pick stuff up with. Yeah, it's a very interesting concept. Oh, like a tank. Come on, there it is. And I split, oh, I can split again. Oh, look at me. Finish. Congratulations, you finished the game. You can now contemplate why you've just spent 10 minutes of your life playing a game where you eat random circles and hexagons. That was quite a nice experience. It was very chill, very laid back. That was quite nice. So good job on that and good job on the sounds as well. So the last game on this list is Catch Pachika. Pachita. Unity. Interesting. It's full screen already. Okay. N O and starts. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so I've got to press the right button. Okay. So is there a pattern to these or is it literally just press the right button or you lose? J. Cause there's so many keys on the keyboard. Okay, so you're trying to catch a bird. Oh, so each time you don't press one, it takes a heart away. Interesting. So I quite like the music in this. It's very, very happy. Um, and the graphics as well. Very, very well done. And the idea is quite nice as well. Just the fact that uh, so many keys on the keyboard can be a bit overwhelming to try and press them all. So unless there's a pattern that I'm not seeing, uh, it is quite overwhelming. That was quite a nice game though. It does say up here that it was submitted to what jam. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, but hey, it's, it was a uh, quite well made, nice music, nice graphics. Just a good game overall. So I'm not going to rate them because that's not what this jam is about. It's just about making something cool. And that seemed to have worked for four people. So that's nice. So anyway, you can tell why I don't do gameplay videos because I don't talk and play games at the same time. I don't know what to say when I'm playing the game. So I don't do gameplay videos. And this just should tell you why I don't do gameplay videos. So anyway, hope you liked the video, I guess. If you want to join future game jams, if I do them, then maybe subscribe or something.